Hello and welcome back to another leak code solution. This is reverse integer, leak code problem number seven. And this problem is given a sign 32-bit integer x, return x with its digits reversed. If reversing x causes the value to go outside the sign 32-bit integer range, which is negative two to the 31st and two to the 31st minus one, then return zero. Assume the environment does not allow you to store 64-bit integers, signed or unsigned. This problem gives us three examples. Example one, the input uh, x equals 123, so the output would be 321. Example 2, x equals negative 123, so our output would be negative 321. And example 3, x equals 120, so our output would be 21. Let's go through an example. In this example, x is 1234. What we're going to want to do is have our reverse number, which we use to keep track of our digits as we're reversing them. And we'll start this out with 0. We're going to want to loop through our input number and go digit by digit uh, reversing it. We can do that by multiplying our reverse number by 10 and then adding x modulus 10, which will take the ones digit and add it to our reverse number. The modulus function is the percent sign and this takes the first digit, divides it by the second digit and just outputs the remainder. So in this case, it would output four, which is in our ones place. So zero plus four equals four. And each time as we're looping through x, we're going to want to get rid of the digit we just used. And we can do that by dividing by 10. So we'll go to the next number. And now this is taking four, multiplying it by 10 and adding 123 modulus 10, which is three. So 40 plus three equals 43. And then we can do it with two. And this is 432. And then we can do it with the one, which is 4,321. And in this case, we would just output this value. This is the simpler case where we get an input value that's positive. So now let's look at an input value that's negative. In this case, we'll want to get that negative sign out and just keep track of it separately in another variable. And once we take the negative sign out, we can treat this just like the positive case and go through number by number, reversing one at a time. The only difference in this case is at the end, we just want to add that negative sign on. So we would just check our variable we use to keep track of it. So for a input value of negative 1,234, our output would be negative 4,321. Let's jump into the code. First thing we want to do is define our is negative variable, which we'll use to keep track of if the input is negative or positive. So if our input's less than zero, it's negative. And now that we've taken care of the negative sign, we'll just take the absolute value of our input. Next, we'll define our reverse number. And we can loop through x while it's still greater than zero. In the loop, we will want to calculate our reverse number, and that'll be equal to our reverse number times 10 plus x modulus 10. And then we'll want to remove the ones value we just used in our reverse number, and we can do that by doing x divided by 10. And we'll use the double division signs here to round down each time. At this point, we'll want to add our negative sign back since we've looped through our whole value. And we can do that by checking our is negative variable. And now we can just return our reverse number. Before running this, we want to add a check to make sure our reverse number is not outside of the 32-bit integer range. And we can do this by just comparing it to the window they gave us in the input statement. And if it's outside the range, we're just returning zero as it instructed in the problem statement. That's it for the code, so let's run this. All cases passed, so let's submit. Our code was accepted, so that's it for this video. If you like this content and want to see more, make sure to check out my channel. Thanks for watching.